Hey what's going on guys you welcome me to my channel and here today in this video I am going to show you how to optimize your CPU, fix the bottlenecking of your CPU on your any PC build and increase the performance of your overall PC for the gaming. So guys the settings work with your any PC build and as you have guys see in the starting of my video how much performance increase you will get after doing these tweaks on your PC. So guys let's go straight into this video so guys as you know cpu is the most important part of your pc which is guys also important for the gaming so we are going to optimize that so first of all guys you need to download a cpu optimizations pack the link of that pack into the descriptions of my this video so simply guys open the link from the descriptions and that will take you here onto my this website go for the search icon and simply guys type here cpu optimizations pack so guys once you search cpu optimization spec into the search bar so here you will find out this post simply click here on this thumbnail or on this title click on this download button now click on this subscribe on youtube and make sure to subscribe to my this channel for unlocking your this link once you subscribe my channel and turn on the bell notification so guys here you will find out this unlock link button click here on the unlock link button and that will take you here onto the google drive click on this download button and download this pack on your pc so guys once you download this pack simply drag it here on your desktop open the zip file drag this folder from here and drop it here on your desktop open this folder and here guys again bunch of files for your cpu usage fix for the registry files for the optimizations the command line the memory deck and guys we are going to use all this file so first here is our cpu usage fix folder open this folder here is guys the power controller which is guys software i'm also using on my pc now guys install this software according to your operating system os 32 bit or 64 bit most of you have 64 bit so guys install this variant of the power controller guys i have already using this software on my pc and here is the interface so what settings you need to do after installing this folder you need to first of all change the power plan onto the bridgesome highest performance now click on this make activate and guys set all these options onto the disable and set all this slider onto the 100% check mark here on all the three boxes when you click on this box you will find out this guy's power controller pro prism dynamic boost settings set it onto the prism high performance also click ok apply the settings and click ok again this will keep running in your background while you guys turn on your pc now go back into the previous folder here is the command power plan Open this guy's command line. Guys, if you are using this software, so you not need to use this command line. But if you are not using this software, so guys, you need to use this command on your PC. How to use this guy? It is really simple. Simply copy this command from here. Go for the search icon. Type here CMD and make sure to run this as administrator. Click yes. Paste here this command and press enter. And guys, here we are done. The ultimate power plan is now created on our PC. Now close out the both files, go back into the main directory and here is our main guys folder of this pack which is the registry files for the optimizations. Open this folder, install all these registry files one by one on your PC but here these two files which is the low mad optimizations and the mad high optimizations so I recommend you guys use the low mad optimizations because this will give you the better performance than the mad high optimizations. If you have a high end PC and still you are getting the 100% CPU usage so guys then use this registry file on your PC. Double click here, click yes and install all these files one by one on your PC. So guys once you install all of these files on your PC now go back into the previous folder and he again here is the command power plan so not use it on your PC we have already used this one then here is the memory deck this is for the optimizations of your RAM simply double click here click yes click next and install this software on your PC this is a small software so don't worry about it click finish and here is guys the interface of the memory deck this will ask you for updating update is available so click yes and update the software and guys keep running the software in your background while you are playing the fortnite and after every hour which play which game or which software you are using you need to simply click on this clean memory button click yes and this will clean your all of the guys background memory which is software is using in your background while you are playing you can also check it out here the memory which is released when i click on the clean memory button then guys simply minimize the software and guys the software will keep running in your system tray you can check it out here the softwares 
So guys here is the registry file location simply open this text file and here guys now we are going to disable the timer broker on our PC which is guys running in our background and using a lot of CPU. So how to disable it I just show you guys simple way without going into the registry tweak. So you need to simply go for the services sections of your PC simply go in the task manager go for the services open services and find out here the time broker. Here guys you will find out the service which is running on your PC and guys be careful to disabling this service on your PC because sometimes this will do some kind of the problems on your PC. So guys simply go on the properties click on the stop button and disable this service on your PC. If this do any kind of problem on your PC you guys simply start it again and here we are done with over this step. Now guys next here is file which is the windows and disable automatic windows update. Make sure to guys run this file click yes and here we are done. Also disable the Windows 10 Cortana because Cortana is completely useless on Windows 10 now. Once you have guys installed all of these files on their PC, not simply one time restart your PC because the settings of the registry which we have done on our PC, that will take effect after restarting our PC. Then launch your Fortnite and any other game which you want to play on their PC. So guys let's go in our game and check out the performance after doing all of the settings on our PC.